last match in the evening. Place, folks. Uh, this is a dream place. There's not another facility like this in New England. This is this awesome. This is an awesome facility to highlight our sport and only do positive things for our sport. And hopefully, bringing so many people from around the state to New Haven will do positive things for New Haven's image. They don't have a wrestling team in New Haven. Uh, Three high schools, uh, right? All these great athletes in this community and rich heritage of sports success, we can help generate a a start to some programs. Well, Tonight's I'll tell you final what. from uh, St. Bernard's, we've got Chris Sullivan, St. Bernard High School, 32-2. and two. Uh, Coach Labeef is very uh, familiar because he's a member of the ECC, St. Bernard's. And Timmy Ferrara from Danbury is 40-4 and four this year with a career record of 109-29. and 29. Timmy was also a member of the junior national team and is extremely deceptive, very sound in position, in great shape, does a nice job with shrugs and underhooks, and if you want to bury it, bull into him, he can headlock it. Yep. That's all. Sullivan has to keep going side to side with Timmy here. Create the angles, don't drive through straight at him, because you're right, Timmy can whack anybody with that damn headlock throw of his. This is what, yeah, I think this is what Sullivan needs to do, just keep snapping in side to side. No shots. I'm not shooting, unless you hit this weight class, unless you got a great outside shot, folks. Yeah. Well, we were uh, successful uh, last year with our heavyweight with run doubles on Timmy. Uh-huh. But uh, he spent the entire year, I, I would venture to guess, he got another 80 Headlock. matches. There it is. And Timmy bailed out at the right time, posted, yeah. was smart enough. A lot of kids would have gotten rolled through in that situation. Yeah. Timmy was experienced enough to know that... Uh, he just had to secure the takedown. That's that headlock of his. Yeah. Let's see. These Danbury guys are making me sound like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, two to one, 20 seconds going to first period. Now here's like oh, you were saying. Oh, nice little arm clear to a leg snatch, but uh, Sullivan was able to defend it. The thing here is... Timmy's in such great shape that you're not going to, a lot of times heavyweights you can wear down. Timmy's able to, uh, Timmy's a little bit quicker than people give him yes. credit for. If you're going to try to penetrate on him, he's not going to be there long. You better get there and run right through him because he's uh, going to put uh, a lot of pressure on you with his sprawl. Coach, he died the hair on his head, but he didn't die the hair on his chest. <laughs> I wonder if he wins this, he'll die the hair out of his chest. And he's going to probably say, if I put my teeth in, he'll die his hair <laughs> in his chest. If I know Timmy. Yeah, Timmy's got a great sense of humor. Two to two, second period. <laughs> minute 45 to go here. Timmy's doing a great job of controlling the center of the mat. His back is always to the center of the mat. Yeah. Forcing uh, Sullivan to uh, circle away. Now, see, Sullivan's got to quit shooting these doubles. Timmy scoots behind. Can he bring Sullivan to the mat? Yes. With his toes in. Look Great him. awareness for a heavyweight. Yes. Great awareness. <laughs> Good stuff. He's going to cut him, Coach. He's cutting him. No. no Put a little go. pressure on him. Make him earn it a Fake little bit. Fake out a little bit here. Four to three. Timmy's playing it just like uh, the 125-pounders uh, might play it. Take him down and cut him loose. Coach, you're, he is just so smart out there. Uh, look at him jack that uh, that underhook up nice and high. Keeps his head right straight at him every yeah. time he comes. Every time he tries to penetrate, his head position is good. Oh, he's going for a leg trip. Well, you better not because Timmy's right arm is out. Actually, you better be above the elbow if you're going to trip that. 4-3, 40 seconds to go. We're going to get, I think they're going to, they talked about his head position. I think we're going to get him for blocking with his head every time. It's one of Timmy's fortes is blocking with the head. Well, you know, in some ways, they're penalizing him because of his lack of height. 
I mean, his head is going to be in your chest because he's just not tall enough. Yeah, he's not tall enough. And look at the pressure he's putting on with that front head, trying to snap him right wow, to the mat. Wow, coach. Nice job. That's two. He's behind the arms, and his hands are on the mat. A good call by the official. Six four. Ten seconds to go. Oh, he didn't give him the two. I take it back. Yeah, he did. Oh, and he gave him an escape on the edge? Yep. Okay, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Six four, two seconds. We're going to the third period with a two point match. And this is not one of those normal heavyweight match coach. We got a little action and a yeah. little quickness going on. Part of it is uh, Sullivan's willingness to attack the legs. Timmy's being a able to execute, stop that. And execute Damn, Jimmy chose head. neutral here. And he's dominating the tie back and Sullivan up. The thing is, Sullivan has to take him. Well, one thing about Timmy, if you can get him a takedown on him, if you can get a takedown on him, you can run some good bars on him and stuff because his upper body... His arms aren't as powerful. No, that 200-pound guy up on his chest, yep. you could run a good bar on him. Or... But the thing is, you got to get a takedown on him. Right. Nice little bar report to the awards area. 215 for the awards area. we got a minute 20 to go at 6-4. Um, Sullivan's got to start taking chances here, Coach. Oh, nice Attacking that leg. Nah, the refs can't call up. anybody for stalling. They're looking at each other, but you can't call anybody. I think Timmy's doing just enough to keep himself out of trouble. No. No headlock on Timmy. 45 seconds, coach. The crowd's getting restless. The, the problem is, he's not going to get a stall. Timmy's not getting called for stalling. I mean, Sullivan's got to be pushing Timmy around. Timmy's pushing him around. Right. He's standing good inside position. Yeah. Timmy's aware with only uh, 30 seconds left that he can give up the point. It doesn't matter. He gave up the stall, but just secured a takedown. Got him loose. So he doesn't quite have the cushion he might think he has. Eight to I six. I don't know if he knows he gave up the one point. And there it is. Attempted a trip. Sullivan going for it. Ten seven. Timmy Pereira is going to be your open 275 pound state champion. Coach, who'd have ever thought? Wonderful job. Yep. Oh, there was Brian Manzi trying to get in the spotlight again. I just want to say what a great job Beefy here is doing and what a great job Jim Day's done. Uh, and look at Timmy go. Mike, what about that, Beefy? Did you get that? 